Well, here's the entrance to the Yoga Ranch. And they have an enormous solar array here. I'll fit right in my trailer and solar panels. After being chased out of Canada by insects, we decided to uh, try something a little different. We found the Yoga Ranch in the uh, Catskills in New York, out past Monticello. And uh, they allow camping and they allowed me to bring my teardrop trailer up here, so it was a good fit. And uh, there's no hookups. Uh, however, all the meals are provided. They're all vegan meals. And uh, you get uh, classes and things, uh, seminars for yoga and talks and things. So it's a uh, definite reboot of vacation. Gives us uh, more than one perspective on, uh, on outdoor life. So at this place you can stay either indoors or outdoors. They have a giant solar array down by the road, which I believe powers the place. And uh, we're just uh, chilling. Did a great yoga class this morning. It really, really felt good. So the ashram visit was a big success. Uh, it was just kind of something that popped up. It was just a whim we came here after being chased out of the, Adira uh, the, the, the uh, Mont Tremblant by mosquitoes. Uh, and this place is pretty cool. Uh, they have karma yogis where you can come here and you can work and you can stay almost I think for free uh, they'll provide you know, you have to bring a tent and many of the people here come for the summer they stay the summer and work and get uh, a tent to sleep in or bring a tent to sleep in I think you have to bring your own tent and other people work here in other capacities the food is grown here. They have gardens and things. Uh, maybe, I think as a karma yogi, you have to work like five hours a day uh, doing chores around the place. And it uh, works out good. A lot of interesting people here. A lot of people who want to be yoga instructors, people who want to uh, learn more or take it to a higher level. Everybody here is very fit. Uh, Nobody gives a hoot about TV or the Kardashians or any of that true, you know, stuff. Uh, everybody's head seems to be screwed on straight. So it's a fun experience. I'd come back. I would definitely come back. Uh, especially one day when I finally do retire, I'm going to come back here to be deprogrammed from work. Hi, I'm Mohini. Um, I'm here at the Shivananda Ashram Yoga Ranch in Woodburn, New York. Very beautiful place. I'm um, very happy to be here, and um, I've been longtime staff for a long time, actually at our center, Shivananda Center in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, called the Yoga Warehouse, mm -hmm. um, for 20 years. And my husband, Sham, and I come here um, usually in the summertime for a month, and now this time two months. Well, how do you afford a month? Um, we actually, you know, this whole organization is pretty much run by volunteers mm -hmm. and um, our yoga center in Fort Lauderdale is also um, all the teachers there are volunteers and the other teachers are taking care of the center for us while we're here um, uh, working, doing work exchange or volunteer. So as a, as a volunteer, Trump. you are provided housing and food? Yes. Most of your, your, your you know, normal needs are taken care of and you provide the volunteers. So this is like a retirement vacation. Yes. In a sense, right? You do some work and things, right? Yeah, so we come here and, you know, our room and board is paid for. There's beautiful vegetarian home-cooked meals Oh, the food's every great. Day. Yeah. yeah, food's so delicious. Um, and in exchange for that, we work, basically. Mm -hmm. We teach classes, we teach workshops. Some people work in the kitchen, some people work in housekeeping. Yeah. Um, there's all sorts of different things that you can do. And you don't have to be a yoga teacher to come and do volunteer work, which is a good thing. Anybody can come for a month, two months, three months at a time. Um, I'm surprised how many people I met here are here for, you know, I'm having trouble being here for a week and people are saying, well, I've been here since May, you know, I've been here for the summer or whatever. And they're, yeah. so the, um, the most basic level would be that you would be work camping um, um, yeah, I mean, most of the time the staff stays in tents because mm -hmm. there's limited amounts of rooms. Uh -huh. um, sometimes the long-time staff or, you know, some of us that are getting a little bit older and have a hard time <laughs> sleeping on the ground, we stay in rooms. Uh -huh. um, 
So, um, yeah, okay. there's lots so, of Okay. So, you would work camp uh, in some cases, and then, yeah. um, then they, sometimes they offer accommodations for people. Now, I'm a vacation, yoga vacation. Yeah. So, I just pay the fee, and of course, I'm in a, in a trailer, and I'm uh, enjoying it here, having a good time. I'm getting all the benefits and none of the work. Yeah. So, that's good. <laughs> so, as a worker bee, you would do a couple of hours of work a day? Well, it's more like... Um, I think it's about six hours a day. Six can. hours a day. Yeah. Okay. So as a yoga guest, uh, vacationer, I've been getting four hours of yoga a day, two yeah. two-hour sessions, and it's just been fabulous. Yeah. And um, so when you leave here, you'll go back to Florida. Yeah. Fort Lauderdale. Is that Fort right? Fort Lauderdale. Yep. And the, the yoga you teach is this flavor of yoga, right? Yes. It's so you, very you, this classical, yellow shirt means you're you're certified. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, anybody can wear a yellow shirt, but yeah, most of us Shivananda teachers wear a yellow shirt and white pants when we teach. And, you know, generally because we're teaching a lot, we just wear it all the time. You know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, but when you came here, you learned this particular type of yoga and that's what you yes. teach in your center. Yes. And, uh, okay. And now your center, you don't yeah, have houses. teachers training courses that happen um, a few times a year at all the different ashrams. Um, actually, there's, you can do it in Vietnam, you can do it in Lithuania. Um, the same organization? Same organization. Ashwagandha? Yeah. Um, what's that? The name of this is Ashwagandha, right? Oh, Shivananda. Shivananda, okay, yeah. sorry. Ashwagandha is an, Ayur an Ayurvedic herb, actually. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, well, I'm learning. I needed yeah. a little more enlightenment. Yeah. Okay, and uh, that way I know they're up in Canada. They're all over, right, yeah. Shivananda? Yeah, okay. there's, an, uh, there's a beautiful ashram in um, Northern California also. Bahamas, that's where we spend most of our time actually when we're at the ashram yeah. because it's very close to Florida. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Bahamas ashram is a really beautiful place to go to if you have a Great. chance to visit. Sounds Gorgeous. Like... Now, throughout the week, you've been going. Not in the summer. Don't go in the summer, you'll die. But After our yoga classes, you're going Om Shanti, right? Now, Shanti means peace? Yes. So, means peace. Just, you just explain that to me. You know, I, I've been hearing Om Shanti. Can you translate that for me? Shanti is a word that means peace. Um, you know, um, this is a place that welcomes people from all faiths and all traditions. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, a lot of our friends that are at the ashram are Jewish or Christian or they come from India and they're Hindu. Um, but it's not exclusively like a Hindu ashram mm -hmm. or, you know, so um, you can be of any faith and, and, and have, in fact, usually what people say is that practicing yoga brings them closer to their to their whatever their religion is um, and you know uh, enhances their faith so, okay for my um, benefit can you give me one last om shanti chanting and uh, yoga training. Back behind the knee and circle your, your uh, ankle with awareness. Slow. Feel what's going on. Feeling that you're strengthening that ankle. Very complicated joint. It takes a long time to heal if we injure it. Now the other way. So with this practice, it will help to strengthen your ankle. Now when you inhale, walk your hands up your leg and bring your forehead towards your knee and stay here for two deep yogic breaths. But please make sure that the knee is straight. If it's not, let it come down a little bit. And then now. I'm gonna go this way. I'm just looking for light. I'm just looking for light. Okay, this is good. Yeah. Okay. So, you're an interpreter. Yes. Okay. And you interpret for these ladies, and they are yoga instructors. Yes. Yes. 
we are. Okay, so where do they teach? Gita says, currently I'm teaching at a yoga center in, uh, for a deaf community in New York City. Uh huh. There is a, the same ashram has a center there. I've been doing that for about five years and really enjoy it. Excellent. There's a lot of deaf students and it benefits the deaf community greatly. Okay, and you? I teach in uh, Indianapolis, Indiana. Children, adults, high school students. I teach I high school English too there. Okay, and how is the except is it um, how is the attendance? Are they getting a lot of people? He just says my classes are pretty small, but it varies about five to eleven people. Mm -hmm. But the room also is small, so I think it's really good uh, to fit up to ten, ten people. Okay. It's a little bit easier for me to, to, to run the group. Everyone's eyes are on me. They can pay attention. I can have more one-on-one -on -one time. And Debbie says, I also want to add, deaf, the deaf community is very visual, so it's easier for us to be uh, interacting one-on-one -on -one and do individual demonstrations. Communication is easier. If it's yes. a full class with people lined up behind each other, mm -hmm. it just gets a little bit um, a little bit more crowded. So a smaller class is better very for good. the deaf community. Thank you. New for this trip is a uh, microfiber towel. Um, they come in a lot of different sizes. Uh, and you can get them on Amazon and on eBay. And uh, they fold up quite small. And boy, do they dry quickly in the sun. Uh, 
compared to a regular towel, this will be dry in 15 minutes. I just took a shower and uh, it's a great addition. I got this one for $8 on Amazon. And I don't know what size it is. Look, it's about 50 something inches by about, I don't know. I can't even guess. Anyway, it's a great investment for eight bucks. It does a great job drying. This is another one of the uh, microfiber towels, same size. It opens up quite large. The name on it is uh, Deco Novo. Uh, I think I got it on Amazon. And it folds up quite small. I'm, uh, I'm convinced. I used it uh, a couple of times now, swimming and other uh, activities. And it's been great. It's so much smaller than a regular cotton towel. And uh, it just dries so much quicker. This is a new Lumi Noodle light. I, uh, it's a color model. It's got a remote control. Like I need that like a hole in a head. But uh, you can make it uh, dimmer. I can make it brighter. I guess the camera is kind of adjusting the, uh, the uh, exposure. It changes colors. Red, pick whatever color you like, whatever your mood. I uh, don't have a need for 99% of these colors. This is white, warm white, yellow. So this would drive you crazy. Anyway, I'll play with it when it gets darker. Runs on a little uh, uh, USB battery pack. I'm not sure exactly how many hours it runs on this. And if you lose a remote control, it has a manual control here also. Several people have asked me where I got these. And I purchased mine at um, the container store. Um, however, I've since found them on Amazon. And if you do a search for a crocheted basket or crocheted bins, you'll find them. Uh, I don't know what size this one is, but uh, they're really great. They fall flat. You can put your stuff in them. I've got them all over the trailer and I use them all the time. So there you go. Crocheted baskets or crocheted bins on Amazon.com and you'll have your very own. I had the cutting board for the vestibule modified. Uh, a person here at the yoga camp used a router and put a groove in it around the edges. And this allows me, when I cut a tomato or something, when it runs, something, you know, the trail is often on uneven ground. It'll go into this little channel and I can clean it out without making a mess on the countertops. After being chased out of the Canadian wilderness by mosquitoes, it's pretty funny, right? It wasn't uh, civil to collapse of society. It wasn't food shortages or uh, civil unrest. Or the zombie apocalypse that chased us out of the woods, it was mosquitoes. So, uh, <laughs> lessons learned. Uh, you know, we decided to come here to the yoga ranch, uh, which actually turned out to be a really good decision. We completely decompressed from work. Uh, we slowed down, uh, got to enjoy great vegan vegetarian food, uh, really nice people, totally different uh, mix of people than you would normally find in a campground or something. Uh, everybody here is really into yoga, so they stand tall, they have great posture, uh, Nobody here gives a crap about television or anything like that. It's, uh, it's just a really nice environment to slow down and kind of get in touch with yourself again, which was exactly what I needed after uh, the work schedule we've had. It rained a lot last night, 